Did you know that many English words have roots in ancient languages? Today we're going to delve into a rich vein of vocabulary, tracing it back to a single ancient Greek root, misen, which means to hate or to detest. First up, we have the word misanthropy. Misanthropy is a term that describes a general dislike or hatred of humanity. An example of this word in a sentence might be, her misanthropy led her to live in seclusion, avoiding contact with people. Next, we find misogyny, a word that signifies a strong dislike or hatred of women. We could use misogyny in a sentence like this. His misogynistic remarks were offensive and unacceptable. Then there's misology, a term that denotes a hatred of reason or logical argumentation. To illustrate, you might say, his misology often led to irrational decisions and beliefs. Another interesting word is misonism. Misonism represents a strong aversion to change or innovation. An example sentence could be, his misonism prevented him from embracing new technologies and ideas. We also have the term misocapnist. This intriguing word refers to someone who hates tobacco smoke. Using it in a sentence, you could say, as a misocapnist, she couldn't stand being around people who smoked. Lastly, we have misopodist, a word that describes a person who hates children. Here's how you might use it. His behavior around kids made it clear that he was a misopodist. It's important to note that these words, while rich in meaning and history, are not commonly used in everyday conversation and their meanings may be relatively obscure to those unfamiliar with them. To summarize, we explored several English words with the Greek root misen at their core. Misanthropy represents a general dislike or hatred of humanity. Misogyny is a strong dislike or hatred of women. Mysology denotes a hatred of reason or logical argumentation. Misonism signifies a strong aversion to change or innovation. Misocapnist refers to someone who hates tobacco smoke and misopodist describes a person who hates children. So the next time you come across a word that starts with miso, you'll know it probably has something to do with a strong dislike or hatred. Language is a fascinating puzzle and every word we learn helps us piece together a larger picture of our shared human history.